As the product manager of the Prometheus, one of the highlights of my job is to hear from customers about how the Prometheus and its Nano DSF measurement are making a difference in their development and characterization of biologics and biotherapeutics. However, because of the complexity of biologics and biotherapeutics, we know that more than just a DSF measurement is necessary to be able to characterize and understand these molecules. And we have been constantly hearing from customers about how they wish that they could apply the same level of quality of the Prometheus and the Nano DSF measurement to all these other biophysical approaches. And this is where we have gone back and hit the drawing board. When thinking about what set the Nano DSF technology and Prometheus apart from other DSF measurement uh, approaches and what we hoped to achieve when thinking about integrating and implementing new biophysical measurement techniques, what we kept hearing over and over again from our customers was how the accuracy, sensitivity, limit of detection, precision, resolution, and these other properties of the Nano DSF measurement are what make it the best in class approach and the gold standard for characterizing the DSF stability of their biologics and proteins. And it is precisely those parameters and properties that needed to be maintained, not only for the nano DSF approach, but also any other biophysical approach that groups are using for their biologic and biotherapeutic characterization. And that is precisely what we worked on when integrating our DLS optics. When talking with our partners who have been testing the product in the field, some of the biggest rave reviews and most important feedback that we have received from them are how the simultaneous measurement and acquisition of the Nano DSF alongside DLS during a single thermal ramp helps them to understand their molecules, their biologics, and their proteins in greater levels of depth and detail than were previously possible. And without any further ado, I would like to introduce you to the Prometheus Phantom.